Hello everybody, Richard Michael Owen here at Pebble Beach. I'm on the 18th fairway of the Pebble Beach Concourse d'Elegance and we are halfway loaded the cars here into the show and I'm gonna do this live walkthrough. We'll see what we find. You can come along with the Discovery. There's some amazing classes this year and a lot of particular cars and Ferraris that I'm in love with. Some Jaguar E-types as well. But yeah, let's get started. I think we have a Seattle coming in here with a small Fiat V8 engine. Just love the light metallic blue color scheme on this. And a Bentley. Wow, look at that. It's a supercharged Bentley. Well, it looks like it might be heating up a bit. Beautiful. Oh my God. Look at that Duesenberg. Yeah, this is gonna be a good video. Look at the lines on that Duesenberg. So I happen to know that that's a Swiss body Duesenberg. Look at the elegant lines on that. Holy. So to my right here, we have a Alfa Romeo 8C2300 class. These were definitely the supercars of the pre-war era. And it's where Shuderia Ferrari started their career racing these cars. And I think some of these Alfa Romeos are actually ex Shuderia Ferrari cars. See, we've got four of them here. Look at that site here at Pebble Beach. How wow, you, sir? isn't that amazing? Hi, Eric, just filming. And this is one of the Shuderia Ferrari Alfa Romeos. Look at that. Very original car from Switzerland. Wow. Oh, we got a GTO casually coming in. For the Le Mans class, there's a Le Mans class this year. Uh, I am in love. That is incredible. All right, back to the Alfa Romeos. Uh, yeah, so this is a Gatto bodied HC 2300 and another one more in road going trim. The distance here, we could see some V8 Ford classes. A lot of cars are wrapped up. I'm not gonna go check those out. But yeah, I'm in just in love with this ex Shuderia Ferrari 8C2300. Oh man. This is where the Ferrari Shields first came from. This, this one right here. Look at that. I love the livery of this blue one as well. But yeah, we have a whole field of dreams to explore. Whoa, look at the Bugatti rolling in. Look at that Type 57 Bugatti. Piano wire wheels. Wow. I'm gonna follow him for a bit. Amazing. Okay. There's a French car over here I really like. It's called a Voisin. Kind of an art deco design. Go check it out. Oh, look at this though. Man, look at all these cars. Yeah, field of dreams here at Pebble Beach Concourse. Uh, life is good. Okay, so this Aerodyne here, wow. It's a French Art Deco design. And uh, you see the sliding roof here with the portholes and the color scheme. Look at that. Wow, in profile it's so wonderful. Do a sneak peek of the interior here. Look at the patterns in there. Look at that. Amazing, here I'll just show the front view of this car. Look at that. I'm sorry, don't mean to ruin the shot. And then we got a Hork here. Sport Cabriolet. Like the lines on that. We're in the European Classic class. We got a Jaguar SS100. And an, I think a Talbot here. It's a British Talbot, I believe. And a big Hispano Suiza. Okay, coming into uh, the screen here is the Ferrari Competition class. 
It's one of my favorite classes here at Pebble Beach. And I'm in love with everything I see here that's red. <laughs> this Tour de France and Milia Milia numbers. That's a bright blue interior in there. That's simply amazing. Then we have the 250 GTO 64. This is the same one that campaigned the Targa Florio and there's famous shots of this car racing through the mountains in Sicily. We have a, a little Seattle, I believe, coming in here. It's pretty loud. This is an auto boot class for little Fiat V8 powered cars. But yeah, I just want to have another look at this 250 GTO. Wow. Paul Russell has done some light restoration work to this car, and I can't wait to see it in detail later. Got a Le Mans class along the water there. I'm gonna keep moving. Everybody checking out that GTO. Bright 250 LM. Man, that little Seattle is pretty loud. We got a big Ferrari 410. You have the huge Lampretti V12s in there. One of the biggest, most badass Ferraris ever made. Oh my. And this Zagato Body 250, one of five Zagato Body 250s in the world. Again, on Mille Miglia numbers, this is the first Ferrari to have um, an advertising on the side. In this case, it's Idris Sparkling Water. And then we have a Ferrari, I believe a six cylinder Ferrari, an inline six cylinder Ferrari from, you can see, Scuderia Pavarano. Very unusual, Scalietti design. Yeah, I'm in love with that. And then the overall winner of the Mille Miglia, this is a 340 America. I forget what year it won. Yeah, that's a pretty special car. Oh, look at him behind here. I think this is an X Le Mans Jaguar C-Type. See a Bugatti pulling in here. But yeah, I think this is one of the overall winners from Le Mans. Next to a beautiful works Testarossa. Next to Bentley Old Number 2. So pretty impressive Le Mans class here at Pella Beach on the water. And of course, that 250 GTO that we saw rolling in. Yeah, pretty impressive. Nice sight here at Pella Beach. Okay, look at the, got a bit of a, a jam up here, of the best kind. Well, let's continue down the field. There's lots more to see. This is a pretty peculiar Ferrari. It's a rear engine Ferrari, one of the first rear engine Ferraris with a V6 in behind, I believe. Very cool. See the interior here, it's all hammer tone. All right, where do we go next? Where do we go next? This is the Ferrari Grand Touring class. I love this two tone 250. We have a 275 on alloy wheels and a Ferrari 166 Barchetta. I think this might be the prototype. Rob Lee's chassis number two. And it has an unusual front grille. Yeah, this is where it all started with Ferrari, these 166s. Got some Le Mans Cadillacs in behind. 250 California, Ferrari 410. But I wanna move up here because we have a pair of amazing Maseratis. A6Gs, I believe they're called. And these are both bodied by a coach builder called Frua. And they're basically Frua's masterpiece. And it's really nice to see the two of them together here. Look at these beautiful cabriolets. That is just a stunning sight. This is class 02 post-war touring here at Pebble Beach. Simply wonderful. Yeah, so this is the 1956 Maserati A6G Frua prototype spider, they call it. I just love the two-tone. I love the soft top on there. Everything about this is just absolutely 
ticks all of my boxes, that's for sure. And then this A6 GS Fruit Spider, bit of a local car, restored by my friend Rob and the gentleman at RX. And uh, yeah, so a bit of a rooting for the hometown guys here. I think they'll do pretty good. This car looks spectacular. And we have a Lancia in there, Aston Martin DB24, and an Apollo prototype. It's one of the only Apollos with aluminum coachwork. Uh, everywhere I go, there's amazing stuff here. Uh, the start of the Autovu class, there's a Supersonic, a Jet Age Supersonic, Fiat 8V or Autovu. And you can see the Jet Age styling here in the back. I'll show you. Yeah, look at the, the kind of the, the nod to the Jet Age and the fins and the way the lights are done. Very neat, cool car. This is a dual Gia, I believe, with custom coachwork by, by Gia. Kind of a, a European take on American design. Very unusual Bertone concept. This started the wedge trend for the Fiat X19. Okay, I'll show you the front of this. It's too wild. Look at the interior. The speedometer is a compass there. Oh, there's some other great cars in this class. Look at that. That This is where the wedge shape started here. Okay, moving along, look at that. We have Briggs Cunningham's old Jaguar race car here. This is a very, very early car. Um, I think it's car number 23, actually. And Briggs, oh, sorry, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I have a car coming through, I have to be careful. A beautiful Delage, look at that. Look at that. With a Swiss coachwork body by Graber. There's a Graber class this year. But yeah, back to this E-Type. So Brooks Cunningham had his mechanics outfit this E-Type for racing, and it's one of the first racing E-Types. There's Bandini coming in. Very cool. So yeah, this is one of the first E-Types and one of the first racing E-Types. It's often called the semi-lightweight. But in the Jaguar communities, it's called the, the heavyweight in certain instances because it isn't one of the later cars that was built for competition. Moving on, we have an A-bar. An amazing, unrestored 300 SL on Rudge wheels. And then what has to be one of the best E-types I've ever seen. This is number 23. It comes from Switzerland. It's one of the earliest unrestored E-types. It also was a Briggs Cunningham car. Briggs Cunningham drove this car to Le Mans. It was one of three cars he got from the initial production run. And it's totally original. It has really, really weird peculiarities. Like the covers here for the outside bonnet latch. Only the early cars have this. Hi guys. And you see the original interior. An amazing E-type here at Pebble Beach. Oh, look at this Duesenberg rolling in. Wow. An amazing Duesenberg. All right, that could be best to show right there rolling in. Look at the way the louvers are done on the hood. Everything about this car. It's a Fagoni bodywork. So it's French coachwork on a Duesenberg on an American chassis. And I think RM Restorations just did a meticulous full restoration on this car. And uh, I think it's going to win best of show. But let's see. We have a lot more cars that are going to show up. You know, and behind this amazing Duesenberg is a class that really has my heart. It's Talbot Lego T26. So these Talbot Lego T26s were really spectacular cars that were made by Talbot Lego in the early 50s. They have a, kind of built the chassis around a huge four liter engine, four and a half liter engine with two cams. And they were all bodied by different coach builders back in the day. So you look at this one. This one has, I think, Belgian coach work by Pennock. Yes, Duesenberg's pretty loud right here. Yeah, so this is one of the more unusual ones. 
Well, if we go down the line here, there's some really stunning Tubbot Lego Grand Sports that are showing up. I think there's nine that are gonna be here today. This one has a Sauchik body. It is utterly incredible. I just love the fastback design of this. And next to that is another one with Fagoni bodywork. Fagoni Falashi. This was built for the Zipper King. And it is really, really a sight to behold. When I go to the front end here, you'll see what I mean. It's a Cyclops car and has little accents, a nod to the to the the Zipper King's uh, business. Yeah, let me see if I can get a good shot of this one. I just love the overall design of this car. It's one best to show up many European concours. And yeah, I just love it. Very similar lines here. This is the Frané take kind of on the same body. You can see they all kind of have that similar fastback design. Look at that sight. Look at all those Tabo Lagos. Amazing. All right, well, that's been 16 minutes, everybody. I'm gonna wrap it up here. Thanks for watching. As always, I love to hear from you guys in the comments below. Yeah, so that's it. That's my quick walk through Appel Beach this morning. Hopefully there'll be much more videos to come. Okay, see you later, everybody. Bye-bye.